Welcome back to Potters of the Cast. Uh, sorry for the late appearance. Uh, most of us have been busy occupying with High School Musical, but we're all here together now and are ready to update you all with what's been going on inside ISPH. So this episode will discuss the weather lately, International Day, and Halloween, and more. Uh, but first, we have a few more members to introduce. Hello, I'm Izzy from Year Seven. Hello, my name is Alice, and I'm really excited to join your podcast. I feel like that's a tad too formal. Come on, let's do this properly. Hello and good day, Podders of the Cast Lovers. It's us again, the best Podders you'll ever hear. In today's episode, we'll be discussing loads, and I bet you cannot wait to hear our beautiful voices once again. Have any of you realised it's getting a bit darker earlier? It's getting really hard to get out of bed when it's so dark. Yeah, it's even getting a little bit cooler. Maybe winter's coming around the corner. And since it's getting colder, maybe it's time we start getting out the winter wardrobe and layering your clothes. Uh, if you layer your clothes, you will look more fashionable, and you will also avoid getting literal frostbite. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean? Yeah. The Moon Festival was amazing, with mid autumn celebration in the MPH for all the students, staff, and some parents came to watch as well. There were many performances from different year groups and all the staff and students were wearing owl's eyes, which is a traditional Vietnamese outfit. They all look incredible and stunning and school has invited a professional group of dragon dancers to perform for us, which was an absolutely beautiful sight and some of the students even joined in. I joined the dragon dance and it was such an amazing experience and I learned that it was such a hard job for actual professional dancer. International Day was such a fantastic success and it's so wonderful to hear uh, everyone share their input and their experiences. It was really special, especially to see um, our whole ISPH community involved, parents, students. There were activities around campus in the classrooms. Obviously, the food was brilliant and we're really grateful for everyone's contributions. In 8J, we did South Africa and all the parents organized that we all had shirts with the South Africa flag on it. In year seven we were doing Egypt and we wore just white clothes and we made really cool headbands during our tutor time. Mr Anthony and Mr Crispin helped us along the way and I think it turned out amazing in the photos. Our country for International Day was Ireland. We worked with Miss Kate to decorate her room by drawing symbols of Ireland and the flag. We also practiced Irish dancing for the parade, and it was very fun. And some of our parents set up food stalls. Everything was homemade, and the quality of the dishes were all so good. It was so delicious, and it went really, really quickly. Students and staff were also encouraged to the food court, and they really enjoyed all the food, I think. Well, for me at least, personally. Uh, there was food all from all around the world. There was Malaysia food with their traditional cake, Korea with their sweet chicken, rice cake and such and such. France with their special cheese and like um, the raspberry flavored milk. And Vietnamese food, including bún bò, nêm rán, soi mặn, da da da. All my favorite dishes. And last is turkey with their hummus. Huge thanks to all the parents that chipped in and helped with the International Day Food Fair. I also loved the lemon drizzle cake. You could not get me away. Yeah, and the Korean and Vietnamese food and even Malaysian food, like food from every all cultures was incredibly popular and delicious. Though my favorite dish was the lemon drizzle cake. Same one as Ben. I was so surprised that like British people actually have s such delicacy of, you know, of yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It's so good. And I even Lots had the cakes. Yeah, the cakes were, uh, yeah. were good. The cakes were the best part, by the way. Thanks, Harrison's mom. 
I also just want to to point out how amazing it was to see the parade of uh, nations representing such diversity as well. We had the year 12s doing international organizations all the way through to all different countries and identities. And it was really such a wonderful representation of our school and our fantastic international community. And we hope that next year will be even bigger and even better. I don't think I've ever seen so much colour in one place. It was a great sight to see everyone take part and wear their lovely bright clothing. Hello, I'm Mihana. I am Prefect and also Wilbing Ambassador and also Zuobin House Captain. Ha ha ha. So last week, me, Mahisha, Guang, and Dan published a video for World Mental Health Day. We want you to not be hesitate and come to us whenever you feel sad or upset. It doesn't need to be us. It could be also your tutor or you can just directly email to Mr. Lewis or Miss Kid. There is well-being email and they can arrange a meeting. And speak of a mental health as the school's deputy head student, it's my pleasure to announce that uh, Movember is officially starting. So Movember is basically an event during November for us all to celebrate the importance of men's health with various fun activities you can participate in with um, your friends and your teachers. During this month, we will also not only raise our awareness towards men's mental health and physical health, but our own mental health and physical health as well. So um, it would be great if you all would join the activities and participate for health points and to be more educated and more fit. Also a big part of Movember is that all men that can or even girls that can just draw on a moustache can and I'm sure that Mr James can help with that. <laughs> but even just a sharpie drawing would help us a lot and raise awareness. Thank you. So a few weeks ago, myself, Miss Nikki and Mr. Crispin went with the year 12s to Bavi and participated in a leadership camp. It was loads of fun, a great opportunity to team build and just start the year off on a really positive note. We had a mud fight, there was raft racing, lots of falling in the water, so good laughs. Um, but it was really great just to see our students getting so involved. Um, and on that note, uh, we all just wanted to say uh, that there are many uh, different groups around the school hosting competitions, departments, um, student leadership. So please keep your eyes and ears open for posters and QR codes and links uh, that are getting shared also in the secondary Google Classroom and on Seesaw where you can access these competitions and, and just get involved. I think it's really important uh, that we participate in all these wonderful activities that are getting planned. It's Halloween today and for everyone who doesn't know, Halloween is a holiday mostly celebrated in Europe and America. It's a holiday where people dress up as monsters and ghosts and just costumes in general and going door to door, knocking and asking for sweets. <laughs> I am excited to see all the terrifying costumes that people will be wearing. Today in school, um, I came to school and I was surprised that most people were in costume because I thought that me and Hina were going to be the only one in costume. I'm dressed I'm dress up as an angel while Hina very contrasting, dress up as Chucky the creepy doll with um, a whole razor in her hand which been scaring me for the whole day. Uh, ben, today you dress up as oh, a Pokemon and Izzy, you were Cookie Monster or something. Blue, oh, yeah. What were they? Tell me. I was Sully from Monsters, Inc. Yeah, so monster, same, same. <laughs> yeah, uh, great to see everyone's costume today. So some kids also give me um, candy, which is great. I'm going to gain so much weight after this, but it's okay. Worth it. Well, part of the cast is that time. The end of the episode. Ooh. No. <laughs> I know you never want it to end, but what what we can do? I hope you enjoyed this episode and see you next time. Put oh, the cast, cast out. out.
Hey, anyone else still here? Hello? Hello?